there is no one can do the job alone. I went through what I went through because of the love and the support of the people I work with and I work for. My patients, my family, my community, my nurses, uh, staff, uh, leadership of the hospital. Uh, everyone came in together to deliver the best out of them. Um, I don't like uh, war terms, but literally the ICU moved to be like a war zone. In no time, every single room being changed to what we call it negative pressure rooms to be able to uh, keep the rooms safe for us and for the patients and the ICU uh, across the board. The folks behind the scene who did an amazing job I'm not, I don't want to forget anyone, but I would love to really uh, recognize the amazing work our engineering department did, uh, helping us securing a beds and rooms to manage the patients. There is no question that across the board, from the janitors to highest level in the uh, organization as a leadership, everyone gave the best he and she. Uh, doing all what we can to support each other. We need to keep in mind that at that time, the challenges of the personal protective equipment and the challenges of the medications and allocation of resources was definitely a challenge. And I'm not here, I'm not gonna say this just like, you know, for show enough about our hospital, but from our meetings with the Department of Public Health earlier in this pandemic, our hospital, and our plan of action uh, for the pandemic was really robust type of a plan. The, the command center, the leadership of the hospital, uh, allocating our resources appropriately, support of our community, uh, cross the board, you know, one team functioning together. And in the mind was only one thing, helping, helping our patients and helping our community go through this tragedy. I call it the love at the t in the time of Corona, where the people came in together, supporting each other. Uh, everybody was asking, how you doing? And I'm asking, how you doing? Uh, everybody checking on everyone. Uh, how I can do, what I can do to help you out. Uh, are there anything I can do? Uh, personally, one day I found a gift from our neighbor with the card, wishing us the best and asking if we need anything as a family. Uh, I felt uh, in this pandemic that as much as supporting the patients by the ventilators and the treatments and antibiotic and blood thinners, uh, that emotional part was very critical to support each other and support the families. The amount of the love pouring towards us in the hospital in general from our community, people we don't know, they were sending us cards, posters, food. It's a, just a way to express how much this community care for each other as one. Well. You may say we small. We may say like, you know, it's a community hospital, Western of Massachusetts. I, from here, I want to say that your hospital is not little. Your hospital is big by the community, by the people working in it. One of our strengths is the quality of the people working in this place, the kind of a community we serve. And again, we are from the community to the community. People we work every day, we meet in the shop, in the streets, uh, in the restaurants. And uh, again, across the board, uh, the love and the support was beyond description. This is not just a community for me or a hospital. I consider it personally, this is my home, and I am proud of the community I belong. I want to thank our community, believing in their own hospital. That was an honor serving every single one in there. And through this interview, I would love to continue to encourage, to help each other out, keeping the virus under control. Uh, respecting the rules of social distance. Use your mask, wash your hands. If you are sick, try to get in contact with your healthcare provider, probably staying at home that day. I know all of us, we are going through the challenges of the job, the schools, the work, the, the kind of a different life we have right now. 
we can go through this together and we can beat this together.